Hey, what is up? New package came out today. This is the Fnatic Dash 2 Max um, mouse pad. And uh, yeah, shout out to Fnatic for sending this out. Let's quickly have a look at it. It comes in a tube. It looks like the same size as a Gitopa, the diameter that is, but it is substantially longer tube and completely made out of cardboard whereas the Gitopa one has a metal top and bottom uh, I think this is more environmentally friendly and it's pretty cool let's quickly uh, unbox it and check it out it says the size is 48 by 48 which means this is a pretty uh, big pad almost like a 500 500 right kind of like a perfect square kind of shape let's pull it out wow it's really thick it's a thick boy and i can feel some texture on it so this is going to be pretty interesting let me put that box away and it rolls out well it the, the corners are kind of like curled up a little bit but i think this will settle down pretty quickly let me remove the old pad out from underneath Very nice, huge pad. I need to move these out of the way. As you can see, I use a, I use the gecko as my lower pad. I like doubling up because double up makes, uh, makes it more squishy for me. I like it soft. And this is pretty thick pad. Let me measure it out and see what we get out of the thickness. And it says 5, but I'm squeezing it. 5.16 is what I'm getting. Uh, this is just a quick unbox. I'm going to do a review later, but I wanted to uh, grab my initial impression. I'm doing a soft clamp on the, on the pad right now. And I am getting 5.65. So with just lightly touching it, 5.6, 5.8, 5.6, yep. So those are the numbers that I'm getting. Uh, there is some texture to it. It really feels a lot like, remind, reminds me of a zero, to be honest with you. Um, the texture is kind of uh, rough. This is the Dash Max 2. Is this a fast pad or not? Um, let's look at the tube. It says base material poron six millimeters sunset orange. Uh, there is no other information, but I think these are supposed to be quick pads, and they feel uh, they don't feel slow but they're a lot slower than what I'm used to but it feels like these are going to be quite accurate actually because these are kind of like balanced or uh, control pads dash to max I think I, I requested for a faster pad the fastest one they had and if this is it to me it feels more like a uh, balanced pad but still very nice surface the texture gives you a nice feedback uh, i'm gonna use this for a bit and uh, we will cover this later and i'll see you in let's say a week a week's time and we'll fast forward and i'll continue to talk about it see you then hey yo, what is up so it's been a month since i've got the fanatic dash 2 max uh, this has been a real revelation uh, when I unboxed it, I felt like this thing was a real game-changing kind of mouse pad because it has the texture of the famous Artisan Zeros or the Tang Daos, if you like, but without the scratchiness that is associated with the uh, Artisan Zero. Um, I tried this with all kinds of uh, mice and uh, mouse feet. These are stock uh viper v3 pros and these 
seem to work the greatest because they are flat and wide uh, on the G Pro Superlight as well stock skates work uh, really well even though these skates aren't the best skates uh, they're really thin uh, most of the uh, pad is touching the uh, mouse body itself so it's not the best but it works actually pretty well for what it is uh, remember this is a six millimeter thick well it's not six millimeter i measured it to 5.8 5.6 at the maximum uh, if i measure it now i am getting 5.3 actually so if it's supposed to be six it's not it is five point something um i also tried it with the uh, is this AZ, AZS or AZZ uh, NTEC skates? Uh, these are, I think, they are PTFE dots and these are pretty fast. Uh, they're really nice and smooth and uh, really nice control because this is kind of like, uh, it's supposed to be a fast speed pan, but in my opinion, this is more of a um, balanced control pan or balanced fast, balanced too fast pad it, i wouldn't say this is a control pad at all i wouldn't say this is a fast pad at all i would say this is a, a balanced control pad that's what i was trying to say um these are on altems uh, also ntech skates uh, and they work really well as well um, they're not so fast as you can see the flat wide skates seem to be the quickest i think that's got a lot to do with the uh, surface area that is in contact uh, with the pad that is making it kind of like uh, floaty and uh, really smooth. Um, but on dot skates, maybe it's digging in a little bit more. Uh, if I'm just pushing it along this way, it's fine. But when I'm doing like a spin test and I'm adding some, I'm adding some pressure to the mouse as I am handling it, it is uh, not as quick and smooth as a full uh full skate full skate seems more uh more floaty more glidey while the dot skates for me um while i'm handling it fine but i feel like there is a little bit more resistance uh, i think it's because it's a little bit more squishy a little bit softer so even with a little bit more pressure, it is digging into the pad slightly. Uh, the last skate that I tried on is the Nylon 66. And I don't know what's up with Nylon 66, but these are just the one of the best skates that I've ever tried. Uh, this and the Altem seem to be like really suitable for most... Um, pads that I've tried on. I haven't tried them on glass uh, glass pads because I don't have any. I'm not really a fan of the glass glass pads but I'm not opposed to trying them out seeing as though how hard and durable these are, how they feel is really good. So we'll see what happens. But these Nylon 66s man, they are absolutely awesome on this pad. Um, if you compare it to something similar I would say the ESP Tangdao is the direct competitor to this pad. It feels uh, very, very similar. Um, kind of like the Tangdao is more closer to the Artisan Zero than the Fnatic because it is more of a, this one you can feel it is more of a control pad while the Fnatic feels more of like a, a quicker, a quicker version of the Tang Dao. Uh, that's not to say the Tang Dao is slow at all. The Tang Dao is very smooth and very nice. Uh, you can see it gliding along effortlessly. It comes to a nice slow stop instead of an abrupt stop. No matter what skates you, you, you throw at it, you can see it comes to a smooth stop. So this Tang Dao is a very nice surface. You can see that stop. It is not an abrupt stop. It is a uh, controlled smooth stop even when you're using the uh, the G Pro Superlight that has the terrible skates it's still very nice and controlled uh, controlled stop so this is how I would uh, compare it to I would compare it to a Tangdao uh, just 
a little bit quicker than the Tangdao. Uh, you can see it comes to a really nice controlled stop. So I wouldn't say this is a speed pad at all. Definitely more of a balance pad or a balanced control pad. But very, very nice pad. I love squish, squishy thick pads. As you can see, I like to double up on my pads. So when I'm using regular pads, I have the, this as the base because I like uh, the squishier, the better. I don't mind if it's a little bit taller on my desk uh, because uh, my arm is hovering over it anyway. I don't mind that, you know, it's not going to, my arm is not going to rub up against the uh, the edge of the pad anytime I'm, oh, I'm constantly floating over it so the height is not a problem for me I know for some people they don't want pads that are uh, too thick because they worry about uh, getting their arms stuck on it or sometimes they pull it all the way back and have it overhang on their desk so that um, they never ever feel that uh, edge here on their forearm but this is the um, Fnatic Dash 2 Max uh, highly recommend this pad if you are in the market for a balanced fast or balance uh, this is not definitely not a control pad okay so it's more on the balance to fast side of the spectrum and I feel like this is um, if you're considering an artisan zero type of pad you should have a look at this because this is going to give you that experience without any scratchy sound scratchy resistance that the artisan zero is famous for and also you are getting a very vibrant orange color that's going to pop it's not just popping out on the camera in real life it is also a very vibrant uh, poppy color opposed as opposed to the artisan dye dye orange which on camera looks really vibrant and orangey but in real life it's kind of like uh, peachy muted um, pastel you could say uh, this is a, has a more vibrant orange uh, this is definitely a Dutch orange I love this color anyway thanks for watching I hope you found some useful information I will see you on the next one bye bye